Just because Quentin Beck makes up lies about the multiverse doesn't mean it isn't real. Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. I mean, what excites me about Doctor Strange is what made him great in the comics, that he doesn't fight uh, villains from this Earth or even from this universe, but from the multiverse and from other dimensions. So you get into all kinds of psychedelic weirdness, which this movie is going to. But when I came and talked to Kevin about doing a sequel, I said, I don't want to do just another sequel to do a sequel. If I'm going to do it, it has to go into the territory that drew me into the Doctor Strange comics in the first place, which is how they dipped into the gothic and the horror and the, and the horrific, and we're going to make the first scary MCU film. So what's next for him? Just easy softball questions. I think, yeah, just some, you know, home economics and cooking, <laughs> knitwear, uh, and a kind of uh, crazy line in horror. Um, Look, I, I'm, 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 I'm really excited to be at the, the dawn of this project, and I think it's vital to maintain the integrity of humor and stuff that we had in the first film, but with this twist of horror, which I think will really have people gripped. Is that twist of horror gonna change any way that you approach him as a character at all, or? Um, he'll be facing unexpected things. I think he'll be in a position, rather like the audience, of not knowing what's coming at him. There was a lot of authority to his character, I thought, in the, Avengers iterations and even in Thor as well. So we're going back to kind of trying to destroy him a bit, I think. Obviously early days, but when you have a strong sorcerer, it also helps when you have a strong witch. And the Scarlet Witch is appearing in this movie alongside her. Let's bring Lizzie Olsen back out. Is there anything that you can tell us about how your Disney Plus show will play into um, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness? I don't know if I could answer the how, but I think it's, I'm really excited to be able to link one story on one medium and bring it into the features. We haven't done that yet, and I think that's super unique to MCU. Uh What is good YouTube, Warstu here with a video on the Wonder Vision Disney streaming service or Disney Plus TV show. So if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to never miss any of these videos. So what is interesting is this video is about a potential Wanda Vision plot leak. But what is interesting is it kind of has ties to the Doctor Strange multiverse of madness plot leak. There are similarities, there are parts that are common, which would make sense because both of these Obviously, one being a movie, one being a TV show. They both run side by side. So we're going to go over that. So if you are new to the channel, guys, make sure to subscribe to never miss any of these videos. At the 100,000 subscriber mark, I will be giving away a PS4 Pro or a Switch or an Xbox One X with whichever game you want. And I will also personally follow you if you care. So let's get into this news. So according to a report that essentially was posted on 4chan then reshared everywhere, there's someone claiming to be working on the Wonder Vision set in Atlanta, Georgia, has been offering leaks about the highly anticipated Disney Plus streaming service TV show online. The leak suggests Wonder, played by Elizabeth Olsen, is going to appear depressed and homeless after the events of Infinity War and Endgame. Now, that would make sense, to be honest, because she is without vision. Now, what is interesting is, is the next bit. A mystery woman named Agatha then comes across Scarlet Witch and offers her the chance to live in a pocket dimension where Wanda can have a perfect world as long as she wants. In this perfect world, Wanda still has a vision. She also has two newborn babies. Now, now this is interesting. Why? Because there was an alleged plot leak for Infinity War and Endgame where there was a casting call for two babies. Now, where am I going with this? There was a, there was a casting call for two babies, two identical babies, and everyone thought they were going to do the storyline from the Scarlet Witch comic books in Endgame. You know, because... Well, the way Infinity War started was Vision and obviously Wanda were in Scotland in, in this movie, essentially, and they were together, right? And everyone thought it's for that. And this bit here, it's pretty canon or canny if it is true. So then it goes on to say two newborn babies, Wiccan and Speed. 
But then if you go over to the alleged Doctor Strange League, it says whoever ends up playing Wiccan from WandaVision will also be in the movie assisting Doctor Strange. So there are parallels between the two, which adds a validity in my opinion. I think it just makes sense. And it's not the only thing where there's parallels between the two. Obviously, we don't know if either is true, but you guys seem to love these kind of videos. So, in this pocket dimension, Agatha checks upon Wanda as a nosy neighbor. Agatha plans to kill Scarlet Witch once the babies grow up. Something they achieve in a week. The leak suggests that Marvel is going to bring several guest stars into the series. Now, we do know these Disney streaming service shows are, are going to have a movie budget set over the whole season, so it would make a lot of sense. So, Age of Ultron star, obviously playing Ultron, James Spader, and Doctor Strange star, Benedict Cumberbatch. The actress behind Captain Marvel's Maria Rambo is also expected to appear in this movie. The word on the street says the character is going to be aged using CGI. Now, why is this interesting? Because if you go back over to the Doctor Strange 2 said plot leak, it does make sense. Monica Rambo will be part of this movie as well. People have been speculating how Monica gets powers in the MCU. Monica will get killed in WandaVision, but Steven enters a universe where Maria Rambo gets blasted by the space time instead of Carol Danvers. Maria was pregnant at the time. She didn't know. Monica inherited her mother's powers and became Phantom when she grew up. Now, this is very interesting because in one leak, it says that one division is going to cut which even is going to end her a pocket dimension. But then if you go to the Doctor Strange 2 one, it said it will directly tie into one division. Wanda will go insane after the events of the series and split open the multiverse where it says Agatha is going to allow her to go into the pocket dimension. Steven is torn between killing her or trying to redeem her as he knows she's a good person deep down. He will also need to find a way to repair the shattered multiverse before everything goes to S H I T. So you can see why I'm using both these alleged plot leaks because there is similarities to both of them. Now this is very, very interesting to me. Now this is where it gets a bit crazy and a bit convoluted. The post does not offer a lot in depth information. However, while the narrative does sound a lot like the House of MR, fans ought to be reminded to take the report with a grain of salt, but I think there is a lot of validity to it. And also, Elizabeth Olsen, who is playing, you know, Scarlet Witch, had this to say. It's a really clever story and surprising, Olsen shared. It's a good time, and I think fans will really get excited by it as well, which is very interesting. And she also went on to praise Kevin Feige. You're a genius, she added. I have other questions that... I probably still don't have the answers for right now, but I understand exactly what he wanted to do, and it really excites me. This is an interview that was said over the last couple of days. So the fact that this plot details come out, plot leak comes out, and she's talking about calling Mr. Kevin Feige a genius, because let's be honest, guys, a lot of these Marvel movies are generic storylines. So I'm expecting Doctor Strange 2 and WandaVision and also the low-key TV show that is going to literally formulate into all these shows to be one of the first, I guess you say, Marvel properties that isn't just a generic storyline. So it is something to think about. The fact that Ultron could be turning up in it is weird, but if there is going to be a pocket dimension or a shattered reality, so to speak, I honestly think these two, I guess you say, TV show and movie to put together are going to change the game forever. Now, the Doctor Strange 2 plot went to go on about Marvel zombies being a big part of the movie. And McGuffin, to find the MacGuffin, we will see Zombie Cap, Zombie Iron Man, Zombie Doctor Strange. The Sorcerer will be batting Zombie Hulk. Now, the animated series What If will be a sequel of sports. Now, we've seen the What If, I guess you say, highlight reel on the Disney streaming service. And the What If show is into going to introduce The Watcher. Comes out 2021 summer. Jeffrey Wright is going to be the voice of The What If, The Watcher in that. So, it does look like a lot of these plot leaks 
have similarities. Now, Agatha, who plays a prominent part in the One Division plot leak, if we go back over to the Doctor Strange 2, she's part of the villain where it says, the main villain will be Nightmare, an interdimensional demon who feeds on people's fears. He's eaten at Wanda, influencing her terror and making her go insane. Agatha, a discipline for Nightmare who is proficient in witchcraft. See, so there are a lot of similarities in more than one spot. And if you go by Tibbets everywhere, you could say plot parts of each plot leak are going to be true. It's not that hard for information to get at. You just got to look at the fact that the whole game of Thrones season seven leaked, Terminated Dark Fake, Predator, Endgame first 10 minutes leaked. So many things go on and on and on and on. And it's looking like the most recent Star Wars movie has leaked as there was a YouTube video that was taken down and there was a leak on Reddit that was taken down by copyright. So things do get out really easily. Now, I don't know why, but we are just talking about this like it's a, a fan fiction, I guess you could say, a narrative story. And if both are true, I'm really looking forward to it. They've got to explain how Vision comes back into the story somehow because in the reality that Wanda starts in, he is dead. So she's obviously going to go to some kind of reality or pocket dimension. And the fact they could be bringing the twins into the storyline is very interesting. As I said, there was a cast notice for that for Infinity War and Endgame, but it never came through. So maybe they were casting well ahead of time. The only bit I'm a bit skeptical about is Maria Rambo being D8, being aged using CGI. That's a bit iffy. But I'm not really sure what to say about this. But I really am interested in this. The fact that the actress playing the main star has said she's excited and saying she can't wait to get started. So it is going to be interesting. So like always, guys, please like, subscribe, and comment. I'll keep you up to date with all the latest and greatest Marvel DC pop culture-based news. And I will catch you in another video very soon. Catch you later.